Здравствуйте, Welcome to another first ten. This is the first ten battles with the. Oh no, that's funny. So the on-air sign was supposed to fold up with the thing, so that didn't work. First ten battles with the 9.3 battle rating, Storm S anti-tank guided missile carrier for the Soviet Union, which unfortunately means it's a medium tank for game purposes, and therefore does not get scouting. So I meant for the on-air sign to slide open with the missile launch door, just like my number four thing. That didn't work, so that's too bad. The wonderful plan that didn't come to fruition. Okay, so there's the enemies. Here's my lineup. And, uh... See what we can do here. So this thing only has one missile stock, which no other vehicle has an equivalent of it. Oh dear. It is not an anti... Oh man, this is AH-1. Well, the hell with it. <gasps> well, how about that for a start? Oh my god. So there's my first kill. Holy crap. I did not expect that. Oh, I was trying to anticipate that other one coming out around the corner there. Oh, he went low. Alright. Whoops. Trying to fix my typo. Alright, we'll keep an eye out for him and see if we can take him out too, I guess. There he is. Come on. We're doing alright capture-wise. Got a lot of team with me here, so I'm gonna... Keep my eyes focused on this UH-1 that I'm not sure anybody else knows about. And it doesn't look like we have any... We have no SAMs? Oh, we got a... We got a Florac Panzer. Stupid Windows update reminder just popped up and pulled me to desktop, so that's fun. Oh, where'd he go? Attention to the designated grid square. Oh, there he is. Here we go. Will it reach? I don't know if it'll reach him. The enemy controls most of the strategic zones. I think it's reaching him. I think it's reaching him and scaring the crap out of him. Attention to the map. Ah. Couldn't get him. Oh boy, we're in trouble now. Speaking purely about the uh, helicopters and aircraft flying over. Okay, our team is taking Bravo. Alright, time to stop fooling around. We got a fairly well covered. I'm going to try and move on Bravo and Charlie. Nice. Gonna put another marker out to let them know. Yep, he's killing people. Oh my god, our PE8. That's amazing. Okay, we got seven missiles left. He's killing people. I can't spot him either. Oh man. Comes a hunter. I'm trying not to get killed by this helicopter.
I wish I'd had those proximity missiles. There's variable fuse, variable timing, or variable fuse, pr basically proximity missiles that you can use as anti-air. And I wish I'd have had those. I would have loved to put those on that U UH-1. And they're taking Bravo again. I'm gonna get killed by the UH-1 going for Bravo. Yeah, that UH-1 is gonna be a big issue. There he is. Yeah, I knew that was coming. I heard it. Alright, well, here's Battle 2. I forgot to mess with the on-air sign because everything took so long finishing up Battle 1, which actually went really well, as you might have noticed. Um, and what the heck? First kill, AH-1Z. That's pretty funny. My missiles must have been coming close to the UH-1 because I chased them off. I ended up killing them in my MiG-15. And then I got a second UH-1 a minute later, but I ended up crashing into a the side of a mountain and his wreckage to do it because he was hovering just, just over a mountain. And I didn't see him until it was too late, and I figured if I got a suicide to take him out while he's punching ATGMs off at my guys who can't shoot back at him, then so be it. I'll get back in a tank. And then I did. And, um, got a short bit of bonus footage already, which I really won't take very long. So, look for that at the end of all things here. Okay, so there are the teams. Definite full up here. If I didn't mention it before, it is the 21st of July. Okay, well, we're not getting up there. Unfortunate. Hmm. Can we not? I bet we can get up right there. I haven't done much coming over here because I generally go after objectives, but we'll see if we can. Eh. Doesn't like to rotate. Okay, there's an X-ray. It's basically the missile launcher and the crew, which makes sense. I mean, that's the entirety of this thing's purpose of existence is to launch missiles at stuff. I mean, it's it's also a transport. I mean, there's different variants of it, but this variant of it is just launch missiles at people. Enemy forces have captured a zone. Can almost see up there, but can't quite. Alright, can see up there. Across to there, I believe we can rotate the missile pretty far. I probably just can't. Or can we? Can we not? Um. Yeah, that rotates pretty far. I don't know if it gives 360 or not, but that's pretty far. All right. Um. There's. I thought I saw a shadow, but it's just the way the fences are moving. Okay. Really? Did one get down past me and I didn't see it while I was moving? Getting up on the rocks and such? Yeah, there is one there. Where is he? Oh, he... I don't know. I couldn't see him. Ah, that's why I couldn't see him. Behind that blue house. Okay. I don't feel quite so bad now. So, it was right there. I'm not sure if he got taken out or not. All right, I'm gonna venture forth to see if I can go help my guys over there. I'm thinking that dude will have bailed out of that spot having been hit and needed to dump smoke probably to repair, so. Attention to the map. 
we will relocate at least... At the very least, we will relocate to, like, up here. Got a hostile helicopter right here getting behind us. They're usually behind this spawn. I don't know, maybe our uh, Votour will find him if there is. I think I hear one. I may have just heard our Votour flying around. Alright, looks like he did fall back, and there he is. Alright, I'll try and go help my squad mate there, since that other guy seems to be dealt with. Hang on, buddy, I'm coming. Oh. He's in a T-34. Because of course he is. Okay. Supposed to be an M1 over here. Alright, we better slow down to missile launching speed. In a second, we come around this corner. Okay, battle cruise control. Oh, never mind. Alright, let's find this guy. Hope that he doesn't come from the left. Be very bad. Eh, my squad mate just took another one. My squad mate got killed right over here somewhere. Not entirely sure where. A missile cannot traverse behind. That is good to know. And he just took out our T-64A. He's probably going to get to Charlie in a second, I bet. They're on A, though. Come on. Things are not looking great for this battle. Things do not look pretty at all. Not, uh, not good. Not good. A lot of the team is gone, and I am sitting in the bottom with no score. Where's this guy? There he is. That did a whole lot of nothing. Well. Head-on engagement's not your friend. There goes nothing. He's coming around behind me. I gotta sit here in ambush, though. Or more than one, though. There goes nothing. Better hope we knock out his ability to shoot, or we're toast. He's looking for me. And we're alone. Only got his commander. Load, you stupid missile! <laughs> that, uh... That was our team getting fully wiped out. Just fully wiped out.
Alright, well, here's Battle 3. And, uh... See if we can get a little closer to our Battle 1 success. I ought to go back and sit down the, uh... Back alley, just to defend it, but I'm not sure I can really stop anything coming head on. Speaking of... Ah, perfect! Pull up mixed, that's my favorite. All right, well, we'll try and get somebody sneaking up to the cap, I guess. I can't see there as well as I was. Can't see as well as I hoped from right there. Plus, we are super naked from the right side, so we're just gonna pull up here. Pull up and wait right here. Good cap, guys. Yep, there's somebody in the back alley. By the back alley, I mean this road here. I call it the back alley or the back road, depending on which word my brain chooses. Does not sound like a friendly helicopter. Because it's not. There it is. No machine gun in this thing. Also important to note. No machine gun. Okay, he's done. Heavy's in the park. Who knows what they are? Because pretty much all seven nations are on the enemy team. Launcher is deploying. Why is launcher is deploying? Cool. Oh man. All right, launcher should be ready now, and I think he's dead. There's another one back there, though. Battle speed away. That was worth the chance. Okay. Nine missiles left, that's plenty. We'll advance at battle speed. They are closing on our spawn. There's a shock. Yeah. I'm gonna try and get that way to help those guys. Thought I saw a helicopter there for a moment. Okay. Tree will stop ya. Okay, he's down. Alright, let's see if we can get back here and help our guys. A is fairly well held, actually. This is pleasing. Team is doing some real good work holding the cap. And I think we took the guys out back here, too. Yeah, seems like it. Okay, well. Back up this way, then. All right, as far as mobility goes, it accelerates fairly well. It does get stopped pretty badly by obstacles, and then it has a little bit of trouble accelerating again. But other than that... The fence is going to be an issue. I did see two of them up here, though. Cruise Control 1 can't get through the fence. Battle speed. Oh god. 
Oh, come on, launcher. Yeah, well, we're dead. I tried to anticipate him breaking through the fence, and I shot a little early. Not that I'm sure I would have done anything to him anyway. Maybe if I'd hit him low in the lower front plate, but oh, that's too bad. All right. Battle number four. At least have managed to get assists in battles... How, did, how is it always... It's always my squad mate who ends up being the one with some random-ass vehicle that's no good or something. I couldn't be squatted up with this guy in an Amex 30 Super. It's gotta be some dude who meant to queue in Rare Realistic and is in a Zis 30. <laughs> that's who I get squatted with. Ah, uh, that's funny. Anyway, I did get assists in battles 2 and 3 on the vehicles that I did manage to hit, so there's that. I, I had a feeling that I was going to pay for the AH-1Z kill, but that's the way it goes. At least we have a uh, real matchmaking again this time, so that's good. Alright, now... Come on. I don't want to go in for the cap. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting about the uh, on-air sign. You'll just have to pretend that it's coming up and folding up with the thing in a cool animated manner. Sadly, it is not. Okay. Oh. Alright, well they're on C, so... Good kill there. A falcon. A falcon of all things. Someone's driving a falcon. Oh dear. A Chally Mark III. Well, I don't like that. Come on, launcher. Mercy. The animation is cute and all, Gaijin, but it does take a little bit of a long time. Whoa. Phew. I do not know how he didn't kill me. My assumption there is that he must have had ATGMs as well. Or maybe smoke loaded. And he's worried about hitting the fence with his ATGM. Because that thing should have eaten me for lunch. Challenger went. Okay, guys, we gotta actually push some points here. Like I said, I don't want to be the one doing it, but, um... Nobody else is going to. Now we're losing A. Well, he ran into a challenger, the poor kid. The enemy has most of the strategic... 47 for sure. Well, this is gonna hurt, I think. Oh my god, he missed me. 
How? How did he miss me? Get the hell out of here. Yeah, of course. All right, well, here's Battle 5, and I actually chose Alpha this time, which ordinarily I never do, because this is uphill. It's easier to go downhill to A than it is uphill to B, but since I'm playing a sneaky, sneaky shoot missiles and don't get discovered because I don't even have a machine gun as a secondary weapon, kind of, technically medium tank, I am going to try and play sneaky, sneaky. And uh, see what we can do here. I bet this Leopard 2A5 is going to do the same thing. He's not going to go for the cap like he should. He's going to be probably try to sneak for their spawn, I'll bet you. So I'm going to get where I can watch the cap. And hopefully not have to come up and crest over the top of a sand dune just to shoot at somebody. I understand why this thing doesn't have scouting. So, while I wish it did just because it'd be handy as a secondary weapon since it doesn't get a machine gun, I understand why it doesn't. It's also, it's essentially just an updated, modernized IT-1, so. Okay, well, they found themselves, found their way to A. I'm not sure I can get around this sand dude in time to get a shot at the guy by the time my launcher deploys. Come on. Peace. Deploy, please, launcher. Not a lot of zoom differential. Yeah. <sighs> I know I was out in the open. Uh, this map didn't really lend itself well to this thing, I don't think. Oh well, we'll see in Battle 6. Eh. Dumb battle. Okay, here's Battle 6. <laughs> yes! That's amazing. Ah, love it. As I was saying, before I was distracted by my own penchant for laughing at silly things, this is Battle 6, and as a result of this map, I must play this thing in advanced IT-1 style. That is to say, like a complete asshole camping and hiding in the rocks. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. America, Japan. Interesting right here. Anytime you see accounts like that, you gotta wonder. Gotta wonder if there's a little bit of untowardness going on. A little bit of cheatery. Maybe not. It could just be somebody who made two accounts, one to be one nation, one to be a different nation, and just focus those nations, and then they're letting a friend play. Could be. Could be. But... Uh, Generally, when I see stuff like that, I assume it's, uh, like a squad of people who are making really similar names, but I always wonder in the back of my mind if there isn't a little bit of less than legitness going on. Hello. That, um, hit seemed all right. And I don't think he knows where it came from because his turret was turned to the side, so he might pop back up there. The light forces have captured a zone. Attention to the designated Maybe.
Hello, target. How do we hit that guy? Carefully, I believe, is the answer we're looking for. Very, very carefully. Come on, launcher. Alright, let's see if we can hunt this guy down before he does any damage. Come on, launcher. Come on, launcher. Come on, launcher. XM1, okay. Looks like he's down. No, he's not down. Now they're capturing B because I left it to focus on this guy, but I'm more concerned with this guy. Oh, no, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. Oh, please, please, please let me get out of here. No, and I'm totally by myself. I can't even shoot my gun to free myself. Man. And my tracks just spin backwards. No. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. going that way. Alright, I'll come with you then. No point in getting stuck again. Alright! How sweet was that? Hey, I got an assist on that IPM1. Alright. Good deal. How are we looking? Still quite a few of them left. Okay. Alright, well, since we're here, I'm gonna go up to this other spot where that M1 came through. And we'll shoot from there. Still quite a few of them left. Quite a few of them left. Looks like I saw gunfire from over here. Uh, I did, and it's dead. Of course it's dead. Huh. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't get too... Don't get too eager there, Ivan Driven. Driven, Ivan. Don't get too... Igor. Dead joke brought to you by 3.30 in the morning. Attention to the designated grid square. Okay, we'll take a look up there then. Um... Attention to the map. Don't see him. Can't see him from where I am. All right, we'll try to try to relocate where we can actually see that guy. 
Yeah, the uh, neutral steering, pretty much non-existent. But otherwise, not a terrible vehicle. Hmm. Right there, must be. That's why I can't see him. Um. Yeah. Oh, it was an ADATS of all things. Okay, how are we looking? Uh, well, we're looking pretty darn good. My goodness. Jeez. Uh, an assist and not much else, but... I don't really want to go charging in with the Sturm as much as I would love to, and as much as the name sounds like I should go Sturming in. I really don't want to. Oh, look, it's Amphibious. Cool. It's got little steering vanes. Neat. To propel it forward. That's cool. I didn't know this thing was actually amphibious. I'm going back in the water because that was funny. It's amphibious, but it can't take down trees. So watch the animation on the back here. It's pretty cool. Little steering, steering vanes to push the weight. Looks like it. They're designed to push the wake for um, inwards towards the center. Either to use the wake as extra propulsion, possibly, like the uh, XB-70 and the shockwave riding, or just to minimize the wake so it's not so obvious that you're being spotted. This is pretty neat. And I think we're going to survive, and I think uh, not much exciting is going to happen, so I apologize, gang. But hey, survive battle. And look, cool Saflina growing in the desert. That's rare. Alright, kids. Uh, I think that's going to be it. Goodness. Just an assist early on. And then I got stuck in a stupid trench trying to chase down an enemy driving for our spawn. But at least they got him. I, I think he got a kill or two, but we got him. And hey, survived battle. I suppose that's all right. Now look how slow this thing is deploying. Not the world's fastest missile launcher, but you know, whatever. It does balance it out somewhat, I guess. Anyway, we'll see you in Battle 7. All right, here's Battle 7. Survive Battle 6, I guess that's all right. Now where we're trying to go here, my goal is to get over here behind these rocks, wherever I can get, and just watch for anybody trying to sneak up and get to our spawn. Because they will, so we'll try to get whatever these rocks we can get to. We'll kind of here would be good to watch down the road, actually. Although that's down a hill, I think. Is it? I don't, uh, no, it's these over here. Yeah, we're okay. We'll try those. All right, uh, Germany and Japan. So it's Axis and Allies in this battle. Interesting. It could certainly get down here fast enough to be a threat, so we're gonna not get behind those rocks right there. Okay. Battle speed, go. Actually, you know where I should be is up near where my squad mate is. It'd be a really good spot. Okay, behind this rock is good for now. Down inside that bowl would be brilliant. But, we're going to stop right here. See if we can actually see anything to shoot at. 
Yes and no. We can, but I don't know how likely it is anything's going to be there. Friendly helicopter? Yes. Those are German machine guns. Battle speed, go. Nobody back there. Scoot up to this next rock. And then we'll try to try to peek down the road towards A. Ooh, poor Betty White. I saw a tank there, but all I saw was machine gun fire, and I can't tell if it's friendly or not. Okay. Yep, there's one. We're gonna have to stop here, because here they come. Holy cow, here they come. Is that guy alive? No, not anymore. Oh my god, how did that do nothing? How did that not do anything? I mean, I could understand if it went through and didn't hit any, like, modules, but it, it should have hit his engine and everything right there. What the heck? Alright. We are gonna get those parts finished, gosh dang it. I did I probably would have if I if I'd have gotten an assist on that guy that I hit, even though I didn't do any real serious damage to him, if somebody else killed him, I probably would have had an assist. But I didn't get an assist on him because I killed him myself with my T sixty four A afterwards, so Unfortunately nothing doing there for assist score. So the quest for parts continues. Lots of XM1 GMs, but it's not quite the cancer that it once was. I mean, there's helicopters now, so... Alright, what do we got here? Hmm, interesting. Just Germany. About to tell that guy to stop shooting his machine guns. To test fire him, but then he stopped, so he actually was firing. Alright, so... Trying to get around here as, you know, the fairly usual spot. I see fairly well the Bravo from there. I was about to say that's a hostile helo coming. Get him. Get him. Oh, they got him. Nice shooting. Now, presumably, that's what hit my squad mate here. Who I can't tell prepare because I don't have parts. That sucks. Okay, that's ridiculous, too. Is that the guy that was dead? That's the one that was dead. He was able to fire a missile there as he was falling to the ground. That's that's some that's some BS. That is some BS right there. I mean, on the one hand, for me personally, it's good because that means there wasn't some other thing that killed our squad mate, and I now have to face. But on the other hand, I don't have my squad mate here anymore. So yeah. shooting it now. What? Oh. I see. Well done. Oof. I don't think I can hit him. I don't think I can hit him from there.
Got one right there. I can't hit him. Definitely got one right there. I don't think I can hit him from where I am. That can't be good. I despise helicopters. All right, well, if they give me a uh, free capture on Bravo, we're going to take it. Other than that, I don't know what I'm going to do here, actually, after... Let's see what kind of speed we can actually muster here. Not too bad. In a long enough race, these guys are going to outrun me pretty badly, which is probably what will happen at Bravo. 27 miles an hour isn't too bad. It's not as fast as these guys are going to... A couple of T-80s and an M1 are going to be able to manage much faster, but I might be able to make it in behind them. Even if they don't wait, which they probably will. Alright, lined up. Burned off a little bit of speed turning, but we should make it now. I'd be excited that we hit 30 miles an hour, but they all probably hit 40 in the same downhill. Anyways. I'm still faster than those challengers. Are they waiting or are they going? What kind of a question is that? It's gonna be close. It's gonna be really close. Got it. Those are helicopter missiles, and I don't like that at all. Thank you. Hey, Dads. All right. This one down, let's get the hell out of here. Type 90 right up here somewhere in front of me. Not sure where though. No, okay. Got his cannon barrel. He kept running. Okay, good. He's down. Charlie is uncaptured still. <laughs> we could try an amphibious assault. Which would be hilarious and dumb. And I'm not going to try it, although it is actually sorely tempting. It's just so slow. It's just so slow to try and cross water in this game. In an amphibious tank, I'm not going to try it. It's tempting for the memes. But this video has already had a, several battles that have taken quite a while and I don't want to purposefully make it take longer.
So, what we're gonna do is try to get to Charlie. We're doing all right. So far, so good. Can't quite see him. Can't quite see the guy that was just hit right there. I think he was knocked out, though. So. Believe. Or maybe not. Maybe he wasn't knocked out. No, he wasn't. Come on. Uh, nope, that's not him either. All right, he's down now. Now he's dead. I might have made it to Charlie if I was driving full speed, but... I want to make sure I stay alive here. But that's okay. Alright. We'll hit it a little bit here. Okay. Back to battle speed. Missiles out. Missiles out, Dan. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got a friendly ADATS. I'm glad and at the same time a little disappointed. Would have been a nice target that didn't see me. Okay, so if you come up to fences, especially stone, fence post type things, you're gonna have to speed up to bust through them. You have to speed up a little above battle speed to get through those. After that, you can slow back down and keep your missile out. The ADATS has a definite advantage there, because he can just go full speed and punch off all his missiles. Lucky Lucky, lucky ADATs. Get a little better look at the missile, rotary missile loader there. Pretty cool. ADATs just shot at something. I can't tell if he's... can't tell what he's shooting at. Looks like ground target, though. I don't know. I presume that there are in fact enemy tanks up there. Though I don't see any yet. Something across the river. Oh, it's dead. Okay. I don't know, Beverly. I wouldn't go charging too far forward there. If an I were ye. I mean, yeah, let's face it, I would, but at the same time. Not right now, anyway. I wonder if our ADATs fired a missile at that dead Leopard 2K if there's something else. Oh, he was probably shooting at the G91. Yes. And he got it. Well, I suppose... 
We'll try it. I think we've got parts wrapped up finally, which most importantly means we can help teammates, squad mates repair now. Let's see if we can get this third capture. Well, second capture, but third point captured. Wow. Uh, I don't think we're actually going to make it. No. Actually not going to make that capture. I took off at full speed to get there, and I'm not going to make it across the field fast enough. Wow. Well, that's terrible. Alright, well, there's somebody up here at their spawn. So, um... That's also fun. I mean, if I see him, I'm going to shoot at him. That's just... As much as I hate it. I got to get some score. Hmm. There's one down. Nothing. Nothing to be seen. Two left. They both died. They could both be in the air. Eesh. This sucks. Creeping along. Missile faces almost a 180 degree forward arc. It's just short. I mean, it's got to be like 178, 177 ish. Just short of 180 degrees forward hemisphere rotation. It's pretty cool. Not bad. Pretty good for technically what is a more modern casemate tank destroyer, essentially. I mean, it does have a functionally has a turret on a stalk. But it doesn't turn 360. Ah, he made it all the way up to Bravo. Or Alpha, I mean. Ah! Sorry, man. Zoomed in. Zoomed in looking. Hmm. Well, another riveting battle. Just simply exciting. Better than getting knocked out right at the start, but at the same time. Oh, I actually hit him with shrapnel. That's funny. gonna keep backing up now if he gets killed it'd be awfully funny if I get a uh... there's a hot somewhere that's a problem didn't hear the missile though so probably didn't come from behind me
Where are you, Gep? I'm sorry, guys. This is so boring. Oh, man. Gonna have parts, though, so you know that's cool. It'd also be cool if somebody pointed out where that rocket and hot is. But, no. Somebody got killed by that rocket hot and knew where he was, and they didn't say anything. Did not fess up. Hey, look, parts. Okay, we'll see you in Battle 10. Okay, we have arrived at battle number 10. The plan is to make the usual end run. Okay, we got America, Britain, and Japan on the other team. Pretty standard. So I finished parts and I actually started research on the tandem charge warhead rather than FPE because to be frank, if I get hit in this thing, I'm probably dead period whether I'm on fire or not. Now it's possible maybe I could get straight from above and get set on fire by like P-47 machine guns or something, but they're probably just going to kill me. They're probably just going to hit my uh, ammo in the back of this thing. Which, I mean, look how much of it is ammo. They're probably just going to hit that ammo carousel and detonate it all, so... I figure the odds of me getting set on fire... As opposed to having a chance to kill someone... And hitting them with a missile that doesn't do a lot of serious damage. Probably a lot more likely. That I would have the opportunity to hit someone rather than be set on fire and have the chance to extinguish it. So, that's the logic. Can't see that one. I'm in a good spot to punch off missiles from behind this hill, but. Can't see Bravo from here either. Okay, we stopped him at Bravo and the helicopter's down. Let's relocate and get closer to where we actually can see something. They're back on Bravo. Okay, I've got a teammate up in front of me who's gonna not only draw their attention to the fact that we're over here, but also draw their attention away from potentially me, so it's a trade-off, but I'll accept him of being up front. He also could potentially cover me if anything starts shooting back, so I'm not just naked and alone here. Alright, good. I'm glad our team is capturing C. That seems like something we should do. Oh! -ho! There we go. Got Nadats back there somewhere, but, um. Yeah, okay. Oh, what just took a hit back here? I don't know, but I do know that the guy that I killed knows where I am now, so if they didn't already know where we were, they certainly know now. So we'll see if we can't spot some more targets to hit. Or we get spotted and taken out. 
Adats is still racking up kills. I can't tell where he is, though. Took Bravo, that's very good. TADU is getting rushed. Looks like our Leopard 2K is going to help. That was a Type 90, okay. I was really hoping that he would uh, charge after him and back up there and I'd be able to get, hit him from long range, but not so much, okay. Moving up with the rest of the gang here. All right. Still quite a few of them left, so. An MKPZ M47, that is interesting. Oh dear. He does actually got him. We're not going to make this capture. There's no way that's going to happen. If we couldn't make the one on the last map, this is a complete impossibility. And yet, it still is going to end up being close. <laughs> okay, well, this looks like... Um devolving quite badly into them being all being trapped in their spawn. So that's really unfortunate. Be nice to see the uh, tandem charge warhead and the uh, anti-air variable time fuse, whatever it is. Vicinity. Proximity fuse. Wise choice, Adats. He didn't leave the battle, though. I bet he's coming back in a jet. He's got the score to do it. They've all... Well, they've all, there's one that hasn't died. He's got... some kills, too, so... As much as I hate this... I'd like to get another kill. I mean, I'm... Ooh. Ooh! Come on up here somewhere. Oh, I can't see him, though. Challenger Mark II, probably up here. Can't see him though. I think he's got to be up here. Yeah, he is. But I can't see him from where I am. Right up here in front of me somewhere. I just can't see him. Gotta be right there. There he is. Come on, launcher. That'll do some good damage. Oh! God, this game. Why did the... Okay, that's why. Oh, my goodness. Still didn't kill him. Supporting fire and assist, though. It's alright. Would have liked to kill, but... Whatever. All right, so uh, another survived battle looks like. Yeah, we'll see if we can't get to the water. I don't think we're gonna. 
All right, we'll do the final thoughts in the uh, end screen. I don't know. Hey, we got a crate. How exciting. And eh, blind hunt's kind of useful. Okay. So there you have the first 10 battles in the 9.3 battle rating Sturm S. Uh, Soviet anti-tank guided missile carrier. Um, I didn't have as bad a time as I thought, although there was the one instance on Alaska where the missile hit the side of a leopard and really just didn't do anything. That was a little disappointing. Um, as you can see there, the 9M120 is the tandem charge warhead that I'm researching. So hopefully it uh, does a little better with uh, getting through... Getting through, say, like, you know, frontal leopard 2A4s and 2A5s and the Abrams. Although, if you aim it carefully enough, I got through a couple Abrams from the front. There is a weak spot that you can hit, so. Um, you gotta watch the speed. The launcher is really slow to deploy, but the trade-off of having the launcher always deployed is you're really slow to move or sitting still. Sitting still is not a bad way to be in this thing. You can get places kind of quickly, but... You want to kind of hold back and uh, be a support weapon more than anything. I tried to do that as much as reasonably possible here in this video, and I'm sure it's going to be a long video because of that. In the meantime, uh, let me know what you guys thought. We'll see you next time. Thank you all very much for watching, and um, if you watch this all the way through to the ending, just comment without any context, Grandmama waits in line for beats all morning long. And uh, we'll see you next time. Fuck yo, tents. Totally not a ghost shell there.